On the one hand, it was a big move for me. But on the other hand, I joined the group in 62. So I'd been in various positions on the shop floor in, in Australia, in, in textiles, in steel, in Tata Motors, through the years. And it was, in relative terms, easy for me to relate to the, the bigger issue. The one thing I had, which maybe is not so evident, is I had a terrific mentor. In, I remember walking back from the meeting in where I was appointed chairman. When he walked back, I walked with him to his office and he told his secretary, Alu, we'll have to move out of here now. Superb. And I said, no, Jay, you don't move out. This is your office as long as you want it. So he said, really? So I said, yes, it is. He said, where would you sit? I said, where I'm sitting today. I have an office down the, down the hall, and that's fine. Then I was deadly afraid that, <laughs> that J.R.D. would forget that he stepped down, and, and time and time again, because he never stepped off the companies. He remained uh, on the board of Tata Steel or, or Telco at that time. And I, I thought, suppose he runs the group from behind and forces <laughs> his view on. He never did. In fact, he was my greatest mentor, and the years that he was alive, I, I used